You're very welcome back to Nationwide. Our next story is about a toy factory in County Cork which produces toy soldiers and film characters which are sold on the internet and dispatched to the four corners of the earth. The business is called the Prince August Toy Soldier Factory and it's located in a village called Kilnamartra near McCroom. We sent our reporter Barry Meskell in search of what lies behind this mini industrial success story from rural Gork. Kildamartra village is set in a quite rural area of County Cork, west of the town of Macroom and deep in the Musbury Gurlthacht. The village has a handful of pubs, a church, a GAA pitch and a retired folk centre. Kildamartra's claim to fame is that it's home to traditional fiddler Connie O'Connell and former Gaelic Athletic Association president and singer-broadcaster Sean O'Shea The village is just like any other in rural Ireland. But it was to this West Cork location that a young Swedish man came some 39 years ago to start a new life for himself. In the years since, Lars Edman has built one of the largest armies assembled and has sent these combat ready troops to the four corners of the world. I'm the uh, second generation in the business. My father started this business back in 1958. He got inspired. Uh, by me uh, as a nine-year-old looking for, for, for moulds, uh, uh, tin casting moulds as, as they were called in, in those days. And there was nobody making moulds for, 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 for tin casting. So uh, he took up uh, 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 the task of, of making moulds and that's how the business started. From small beginnings, Lars and his family have grown the Prince August Toy Soldier Factory into a thriving international export business, employing about 12 people locally and producing high-end toys for children and toy collectors all over the world. The factory attracts between 15 and 20,000 visitors to Kilnamartra annually. These visitors come to see the production process and get their hands dirty. One such person who has been very much involved in showing this whole new world to the visitors is Eileen Kelleher. My main job here is hand painting all these figurines of larger rings, Gandalf and everything else, um, all dragons. Uh, we also have chess sets, we paint them and we ship them all over the world. This was our, our factory is so unique. We're the only Thai soldier factory and where children can come in and mums and dads they can come and see, we give them a demonstration, they see how we make various ballerinas, soldiers, everything, we have hundreds and hundreds of moulds. I've been making, I've been um, painting and it was really fun because you didn't just paint it, you got to um, make it as well and you got to put in the hot metal in. No, I thought it was really fun and exciting. Uh, we've been uh, putting metal into a mould and as you see now we're painting it. And I really like it, especially today because I like the dry brushing. And dry brushing is, is where you, I don't really know how to explain it, but kind of rub off the paint so that you can see the fur lines on the mould. And I really like that, and I really like how you can see it and all that, and uh, go home and look at it and say, you know, you made that. The Prince August Toy Factory is a success story in this part of West Cork. But its Swedish founder, who produces toys depicting some of the characters of the biggest blockbuster movies on the planet, is constantly looking for new toys and ideas. For his latest project, Lars travelled to Cologne in Germany, where he met Andre Rudolf. Our visitor centre has become very popular in the, in the last five years, uh, but we felt that we needed something extra. The moment I saw the, the diorama 
of the Battle of Waterloo, uh, I knew that, that uh, uh, it was a must have for, for the toy soldier factory. Uh, it was immensely impressive, well done, well presented, uh, and very, very, very interesting to look at. Andre had built the world's biggest diorama exhibition, 26 feet by 13 feet, of the scene of the Battle of Waterloo, using 15,000 hand-cast and painted Prince August model soldiers, and which he had exhibited in a museum in Germany. Interestingly, Andre had bought Prince August toy soldier moulds from Lars as a little boy some 30 years before. The diorama took the German some eight years to build. While Andre was looking for a new permanent home for his diorama exhibition, Lars was on the lookout for a new attraction to his visitor centre in Kildamartra. Uh, the diorama was uh, for some years in the museum, yeah. And um, after this, I was thinking how I, what I will make now. And uh, then I write to uh, to the factory here, yeah, and say uh, it was very nice to to make the model with the moves from you, yeah. And after this, uh, Lars uh, write me back and say, um, okay, uh, I will come to Cologne and see this. Yeah, and when it's okay, I take this here to, to Ireland. I'm very impressed about this, uh, this uh, location. For the future, Lars Edman and uh, I will build this, uh, make this a little bit bigger, yeah, with 12 quadrat meters um, for the next few years. It was, it was impressive. The thing is, like, you know, it's on here. It's a big part of history. What we, we go through is very fast in France because I suppose it's not that good for us. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, it's great. very impressive. Like, the, all the little detail and everything is really amazing. It's, a, it's an amazing exhibition. Um, from a military history perspective, I read a lot of history myself and I've read about the Battle of Waterloo and this really brings to life exactly what happened on the day. It gives you sort of a bird's eye view of the positioning of the, the different between the Prussians and the British uh, and the French armies. And of course there's a lovely bonus to meet Andre Rudolph, the man who built it. Absolutely, the man was very knowledgeable and uh, as he said himself, he, he spent a lot of his part time uh, making these models. So I'd say it was nice to meet that man. and. Uh, to see his work, he must be very proud. The story of the Prince August toy factory began when a young Swedish boy had a dream, a dream to make his own toy soldiers. This desire brought him on a journey, a journey that would become his life's work and would bring him to this southwest corner of Ireland. In the 40 years since he arrived, Lars has become part of the community. His Prince August factory attracts visitors from near and far and has been promoted by and received a certificate of excellence from TripAdvisor. For the children that come to see the factory, it's an Aladdin's cave of discovery with spectacular creatures from other worlds, soldiers, kings and queens, knights and druids. The children seem to relish the opportunity to get involved and to produce a toy involving the casting and the painting. The business experience here demonstrates that world-class craft industries do not need the bright lights of big cities to be successful. Goods produced here at the factory are shipped out and can be in other parts of the world within 24 hours. This is a Swedish-Irish success story and one which Lars and the staff at Kildamartra are truly proud. The addition of the diorama or exhibition of the Battle of Waterloo the largest of its kind in the world at the Prince August Toy Factory has become a success and is drawing new visitors, young and old. For Lars, it's the achievement of another milestone in his life's journey. For a start, it's an injection and, uh, and uh, it's clearly that we're moving into a new phase uh, in, in the, the Toy Soldier Factory's history. Uh, and, uh, uh, our business, uh, once we open the, the, the new visitor center and then the new exhibition center, our, our turnover has gone up by 25%. Our plans for the future is to make uh, more of a multimedia show uh, to, to, uh, to uh, uh, not only show off a, a, a big masterpiece, but also the story behind it. I think it's nice to, to uh, pass it on to, to uh, the next generation.
What a wonderful story of a craft business in rural Ireland sustaining jobs and exporting to the globe. And a reminder that the Prince August Toy Factory is open to the public seven days a week.